Oh no, the magic letters are gone. I had every letter of the alphabet in my trunk. Is that one of them, Daddy? Ah, yes. It's the T for tree. Look over there, in that yellow car. The C for car, and the Y for yellow. Here, everything you catch with this Magic Pet Transporter Hoop will end up in the Magic Pet Store. Two of you catch all of the letters for me, Mila? Of course, Daddy. Let's start with the A morphle. A, A, uh, airplane. That's right. Let's find an airplane.
Say, are you looking for this little guy? The U for UFO. I was on my way to Professor Rashid, but I got lost. Don't worry, we'll get you there. No, oh, tumbling test tubes. Look, it's the L for laboratory. Hmm, maybe that also explains why there is a Q in my quantum physics experiment. Only a few more morphle, and I think I know just where to find them. F is for fire truck. P is for policeman. Huh? R is for race track. Hi, Mila and Morphle. What brings you to the zoo? We're looking for all the magic letter pets. And we only need the Z for zoo. Well, it sounds like your friends are waiting for you. <laughs> oh, Mila and Morphle. Morph into a big truck. We need to bring all these machines to the new building site. Not in my city. Here we are, the new building site. Hey, there's a truck here already. Yep, that's the only truck we didn't have to bring. It came by itself. It's a robot dump truck that we got from Professor Tsong. I remember you. <laughs> Builder Lawrence, all your machines fell from your truck, and it's causing mayhem in my city. Oh, you are right. The truck is empty. What do we do now? Morphle and the robot dump truck could go find all the machines. Yes, that's a great idea. Morphle, morph into a dump truck, too. Let's play a game. Whoever brings back the most machines wins. Okay, Morphle. 
people, let's find some machines. The robot dump truck found his first machine. But we'll get the next one. Look, Morphle. Those people are stuck in the cement. Morphle, morph into a jackhammer. accidentally dropped this life ray that I was going to present at the National Science Conference. And it zapped your toy dinosaurs to life. But it broke, and I can't zap the dinosaurs back again. Hmm. Mila, can you look after them while I fix my life ray? Of course, Professor Rashid. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun together. Great. I'll be back as soon as I can.
Hey, toy dinosaurs, while we wait for the professor to return, let's play a game! Longer than expected, but it's fixed now. Let's go back to the toy dinosaurs right away. I hope nothing bad has happened while I was gone. Oh, tumbling test tubes! Professor, do you want to join the picnic? We've been having great fun! Thank you, Mila, but I think it's time to zap the dinosaurs back into toys. Steady. Oh! Professor Rashid, I don't think the toy dinosaurs want to go back to being toys. They've been having much more fun as living dinosaurs. Yes, Mila. But the city is no place for dinosaurs. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Zookeeper Kenneth has a place for them. What's this? Are those giant toy dinosaurs? Yeah, Professor Rashid accidentally zapped them with his life ray. Do you have a place for the toy dinosaurs to live, Zookeeper Kenneth? Well, the zoo only has one place for big animals, and the elephants already live there. But... During my travels, I think I spotted an uninhabited island where the toy dinosaurs could live. Let's go there right away, Morphle. 
There it is! You seem to have fun already! is a great home for you. But we need to go home again as well. Bye, toy dinosaurs! I'm trying to get this flying lion to fly, but it's too scared. Poor thing. Today its new human companion is coming to pick it up, and he was promised a flying lion. <sighs> I've been trying all night. I'm so <sighs> tired. I don't know what to... help the lion to not be afraid of flying anymore. Hello? Is there anybody here? I am looking for my flying lion. Oh, I don't want to wake him up. I'll just take the flying lion myself. Ah, here it is. We will show you that it's not scary to fly. Morphle, morph into a hot air balloon. It's working. It's just making the lion more scared. Hmm, I have a plan. I think we should stop trying to teach you how to fly for now, lion. Let's play a game instead. Let's play Hot Lava Monster. The game is that you can't touch the floor because that's the lava. Only the lava monster can touch the floor and he has to catch the other players. Morph into a lava monster, Morphle. For some music. <laughs> Mila, Morphle, I need your help. I can't find the noise monster. Not in my city. That's him! 
Every time the noise monster hears a loud noise, it grows. And if he becomes any bigger, that building he's on will collapse. Morphle! Morph into giant earmuffs! But how do we get them up there? is amazing at flying. We all have to be very quiet or else the noise monster will grow again. Don't worry. I'll get everybody to be quiet. Everybody be quiet! And the new champion of the world is... Huh? A little kid? Tell us, little girl, is this the most happy moment of your life? <laughs> no, Morphle and I think there are lots of things more important than winning. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hello, people of Earth! Wow! We are gathering the fastest racers from every planet to compete in the first motorcycle Grand Prix of the universe. And you are clearly the fastest on this planet. Follow us. Morpho, morph into a space bike. A meteorite! Great move! Meteorites are the most dangerous thing a space biker can come across! Get ready... Set... Sidecar 
to the bike. Thank you for saving me, Mila. And Morpho. Unfortunately, you lost the race because you helped me. That's okay. Some things are more important than winning awards. Well, you might not have won an award, but there is something else you won. Oh? My friendship. Come with me. I will show you around in space. <laughs> 